Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Orlando Valido. Oli Valido, Open Poli, and they call me here on YouTube. Tonight they're going to bring you another contribution, Alice, and this one is from Australia, an Australian contribution, Alice. Let me put the first picture for you. Well, her name is Kathleen Press. And here's the second picture of her. A beautiful girl, a beautiful blonde hair. And I love blondie. But well, yeah, I do. I love blondie. Okay, let's get started here with the autobiography. Oh, remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Remember that. Okay, let's be here. Catherine Elizabeth Brett, born uh, the 21 of December 1984. She's an Australian contribution artist who has success in both her native Australian and the United States altogether. She started her career in Newcastle, Australia, in 1999, and she moved to Nashville, Tennessee, from 2002 to 2008, and she returned to Australia, but I had three singles in the top 40 on the U.S. Billboard Hot Country Sun. Just with the uh, upside of being down. Again, upside of being down. Her highest peak at number 36 in 2004. But I have this seven studio album in Australia with her. Well, all her seven have a beyond. A-R-I-A album shows so far gone since January of 2006. Little Wildflower, 14 of January of 2008, Catherine Bush, 28 May 2010. And always never enough, 10 of August 2012. All five albums have been nominated for ARIA Music Award category or category Best Country Album in Australia, I believe. All Country Music Award of Australian Brit has won four Golden Guitar Trophy. Female Audio of the Year for what I did last night. 2009, Charleston Road, 2013, a Bone Shaker. Yeah, Bone Shaker, 2016, uh, the Single of the Year for Sweet Emily. 2011, Bush Mary Her. Then the partner, James Beverly, in October uh, 2013. The couple have two children. Boyd was diagnosed with breast cancer in early 2015. She went on the one surgery and chemotherapy uh, at that time. In 2015, I hope she doing fine. I hate to see people with cancer. Doesn't matter if it's a breast cancer or or anywhere in your body. You know, it's, it's bad. Okay, let's continue here. Biography: Catherine Elizabeth Brett was born on December 31. 1984, Newcastle, Australia. Her father, Steve, 
después este escudo con su luz bajó de en y se dice a librarian and we had three other son Steve has a vast collection of records especially a material by country music artists from the age of uh, 10 which was singing at her home drawing inspiration from Dolly Patton yeah, I love Dolly Patton Loretta Lynn, Hack William, who was a recruiting, yeah, recruiting music student. I got singing lesson from Wiles. I hated it. Uh, hate people telling me what do, do I do with my music and stuff. In other words, she hates people telling her uh, what music she should listen or she play. She used to tell me to sing all this nightly in Bulgaria. I am B-R-U-G-R-I-A. That's so I quit them. I had a guitar lesson from the same guy that he taught me the basic chord. I have uh, the up once, and I knew the basic of the chord, thinking that I would do for me, to me. What do you think? For the basic thinking that will do me. That's what she said, okay? Her first uh, effort as songwriting Guardian Angel. Of course, when she was 11 years old, she later recorded it was pretty bad. And the following year, her parents took her to meet Australian country musician Bill Chamber, C-H-A-M-B-R-S who invited Brett on stage, on stage, a duo on TV Blue, and the cover version of Jimmy Rogers' original. A week later, Brett sang solo a Mel Hagger tribute to a concert in Sydney, Australia, presented by the Chamber. Right. December. In 1999, Brit independently released her debut album, Track and Extended Play, In the Pine, which was produced by December as she was age 14 at the time and included the track, That Don't Bother Me. Great title, That Don't that don't bother me. COVID with Chamber and Dollar Casey, who also provided backing vocals, would prefer to uh, write her own, her own. However, she enjoyed working with Casey because they were such a great friend, and we know each other, and we know we both were coming from the same place when it came to music. Yeah, that happened many times. But the issue of her first to the album, Dusty Smile, a heartbreak cure, heartbreak cure, I mean, on the 16th of May of 2001, also independently produced by very simple. It contains a half a dozen original, as well as a cover of William um, Mahago. He signed to the ABC Music, ABC Country, to release that album on 11 of March 
April 2002. He made Edna John, who was a twin of 12 years, heard his album, I mean, her, her album, and he made weight and recommended her to industry and contact in the United States. Dirty Smile, a break cure, appeared on the ARIA country search in July of the year, picking at number 18 at the ARIA Music Award in 2002. Weed received her first nomination for country music of the year uh, in late 2002. Weed for three weeks supported Australian leg tour by Chris Isaac, uh, I-S-A-A-K. Her backing will include her belly on drum and band Concilia, C-O-N-I-C-E-L-L-A, and bass guitar. Very interesting. Brett attended the country music award of Australia Hell and Tam Wood. Tam Wood. T A M W O R T H. On January 2006. I mean 2003. Excuse me for that. And so David Kruger. Uh, K I U. EER, Australian Performer Rights Association of uh, APRA, her writing process for the album. The way I write song is a bit strange. I just sit down and let it be five minutes and then the song will just come out on paper. And then I have took, I have took back into a go right and does it make sense. It will be interesting. Uh, I hardly ever change my word. I ever always just write them down. That's it. The real five men of us, I guess. Yeah, so I can understand that. So she writes song in five minutes. The way it came out, she writes it. And that's, uh, that's what she did. That's very good. And it should be the way it should be. For some of the lyrics, she was sick with her parents. And I really, I really didn't even know what that mean. And that happened a lot of, and a lot of time for me, she said. I had to go to mom, to my mom and dad, and say to this, to this makes sense, and every time she does. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea, to go to your parents and, hey, this body is right, is this word is right, yeah, of course, when you were young, you had to double check. Yeah, it's a very good idea. Brendan Hutchins, H U T C H E N S T V series, George Nugget tonight. Interview with for the episode of Five. On broadcast on March 2003, she described to end the ISAC, I-S-A-A-K, it being great, and being kind to me, and his uh, whole band really good to me. So I better than I thought. So he better than I thought. That's what she meant. But that, 
In 2004, she moved to Nashville, Tennessee, and was soon signed to RCA Record Nashville, Tennessee, for the international release for her U.S. debut single, The Upside of Being Down. The Upside of Being Down, great title, picked a number 36 on the Billboard Hot Country Song in August of that year. In July 2005, Brett and John released country music duo we both say goodbye. Well, we both say goodbye again, which was co-written by Brett with Jerry Sally, S-A-L-L-E-Y. And the single entered the number 49 on the high country song and John first appearing on that shot. Very good. Brett's second album, Too Far Gone, was released on Australia, Australia on January 16, 2006, and has been recorded in Nashville, Tennessee, a chamber co producing with K. Taker. Kid Taker, I mean. Uh, S-T-E-E-A-L-L, and Alan Jackson, Joyce John, Jamie O'Neill, and the session which include Kenny Kisney, of a backing vocal to a Duncan Onfido, and Marilyn McPayne on upright bass and power function on steel guitar, Rob Asher, I-C-K-E-S, on double, on Brian Manson, on guitar, acoustic guitar, electric guitar, and Dave Pomeroy, on uh, bass guitar, Hargus, H-A-R-U-G-U-S, Peg Robbins, on piano. John Wesley Wilde, uh, R-I-L-E-S, on back and vocal, on Bruce Wagner, on the acoustic guitar, and Glenn Wolf on bass guitar. An Australian album reached the number 47 on the ARIA album charts at number three, and with Lady Country search, Tim O'Neill of Comcast.net or Pine may be not be strong enough to share with you friends of our introduction to Brit. There is some uh, strong material here, such as Swinging Door, A Poor Man, A Pride. But feel with a mediocre stuff that sound like the late 1990 material. No, wish I had more work inside of the shit, and it should be hopefully come out of her oncoming album. That was a little bit quitty. A little bit quitty there, but that's okay. At the ARIA Music Award of 2006, Brett went to Fargon, received a second nomination for Country Music Album of the Year from May to October 2007. Brett was the opening at for the core heading of the tour of the U.S. by Alan Jackson and Whit Brooking June, which recorded her third studio album 
little flower or wild flower mean yeah little wild flower with a wet weaver producing dirt basically uh D I E R K S Doug Besley B E N T L E Y in Nashville, Tennessee. I was released on June on no, on January fourteenth of two thousand eight. Yeah, in August which was we shall number six of the ARIA country album search and provide with for her third ARIA award nomination for best country music album in 2008. Let me say this AR. I A. That's a association over there in Australia, I believe. The last single, what I did last nine, what I did last nine, appeared in May of 2007. Uh, a pick at number 39 in the U.S. Hot Country Sound Charge with book and doing to Australia during the March or March two thousand eight and it was supported by Brit by April two thousand eight Brit was dropped from the SCA with uh, without releasing any album in the US market which was on to a live Newcastle in 2009. I wonder why they did rap her. <coughs> Give up that. Brescia contacted Chamber to produce her next album, Catherine Brest and her co opted hit then. Son of Love. Jane Nicholson, a co-producer, were recorded at the same same studio in Melbourne, Australia, at the track called You Back Town. Yeah, that track was called Call You Back Town, with great covered with Ashley Monroe, who related to her experience in Nashville, Tennessee, with the record, it can be a very hard place at the time. A wonderful place, too. I saw both sides of it. This song was the result of seeing, of seeing the side of certain stages how I feel about it. Now they never call you back. You call them and let you leave the message and they will never get back to you. Wow. The album which reached a number five of the ARA country album site was almost, was also nominated for the best country album in 2010. A.R.A. Award Ceremony. This is very interesting, guys. Uh, sometimes this will happen in America. Sometimes you leave a message and they never get back to you. Maybe they don't like you, maybe uh, for some other reason. But who knows? Which fits to the album Always Never Enough was released on August 10, 2012, which picked at number 44 on AR 
I have my size on a number three on uh, his country album, uh, Humbly John Jolene, I mean, J-O-L-E-N-E. -E. The country music black fell with a uh, masterpiece of a single song that I wasn't to skip over not to play and not to pay, I mean, and close attention. And close attention too. Also, in 2012, Boys received her first nomination for the best country album of the ARIA Award Ceremony over there in Australia. In November 2012, Bush Chamber and Tim Roger UMI UMI A A and M and I, okay? A former group the Hillbilly Killers. The Hillbilly. Yeah, what a nice. That's funny. The Hillbilly Killers. I decided the project to perform a song, a high a lonesome song, song with the ashes, A C H E and the H on number. I have to spell this for you. H U R T N U N D N I A N D N I A P O E time even but Chamber wanted the song to have a H2 H2 and uh, something a little on hand uh, UN H I N G E D sometimes uh, Ongoli, other members were James Gillan, Michael McCall, or McCall. This is uh, her name, last name, I mean, M U C H O W. On guitar, and James O'Mara on guitar. The official the beauty, yeah, it was somewhat contributed festival in January of 2012. That was uh, over there in uh, Australia. The group to Australia is called and issued their debut single, The Chaos and Hillbilly Killer. But March that year, Natalie Sadhu of uh, the of uh, AU review called her the performer at the basement of the Cindy on 24 uh, April 2013. Both Chamber and Roger uh, each had a brief solo set where well before the trio were joined on the two more musicians. Gillan and double bass and backing vocal power novels on dramas and servers fell that now are required to use everything from the guitar to banjo and double bass, side guitar that bass to create the right mix on the hot on the hot one jam uh us love uh, note and down to us storytelling of the country hone down will provide rhythm and guitar backing vocal with occasional let vocal. 
Hey guys, uh, give me one chicken here. I'll be right back. Okay, I need to do that. Let's keep it in here. Okay. And 2021, uh, but he collaborated with Lash and Brian on Farm of Pleasure. And the Pleasure released their debut single at the beginning of the end of January of 2022. Wow. And the album debuted on November 20 of the Australian ARI A country music series. Very interesting. Okay, guys, here we go with the personal life. Sometimes I like it, sometimes not. But very long term partner, James Beverly. B E B E R L E Y on October 13, no, October 2013, and the couple had a love to Las Vegas and kept the ceremony detail private. He made the 2015 bread was that not with what cancer. A medical surgery and chemotherapy, a wedding re reinstatement went ahead on October of that same year, celebrating the couple's second anniversary, both first mother and birth of her mother in law, Lee Beverly, was subsequently. Diagnosed at the treatment for breast cancer. Wow. Both mothers, or both sides of the marriage. You believe that? Yeah, it can happen. But September 2019, Bruce and Beverly had two children. In January 2016, she won. Her first golden guitar at the Country Music Award of Australia for female artist of the year, Boone Shaker. Very good. It made me a little bit sad to see both sides, both mother, or her marriage, or her husband, or her own, with breast country. I, ne I never heard this before, but I guess it does happen. It's a little bit sad, but I hope they're all doing fine. That's my hope. Studio album, we will go with that. Title, album detail, Dusty Smile, A Heartbreak Cure, with each one, 16 of May of 2001, label ABC Music, and the start 18 on the Australia country. Right here, uh, from my city, Too Far Gone, released on date 16 of January of 2006, label ABC Music, one of music, uh, U.S. 47 3 uh, a U.S. country uh, that's over there. Uh, format city Little Wildflower with this day 14 of January of 2008. Table record APC Music format city again I pick at 73, uh, Australia, and number six. Next, Catherine Bress. For this day, May 28, 
Bennington, ABC Music, from a CD digital download, 73, pick um, number 5 in Australia. Uh, I'll always never enough. Always never enough. For this day, August 10, 2012, ABC Music, 44, on Australia, and number 3, is United States, I guess. It doesn't say here. Born, born Shaker, released May 1st, 2015, Labor Record, Lost Highway Record, Australia, 41 and 5. Because the number 41 and 5 in Australia, Catherine Brett, the Cold Cold Heart, Catherine Brett, the Cold Cold Heart. What a day I love it. For this and date, 13 of July, 2018, Labor Records, Universal Music Australia, 62 Peak. Home Tours, Home Tours. For this day, 15 of January of 2021, Label Catherine Brett. Her own label record at this time, 2021. So she got the home. That's good for her. Yeah. Very good for her that she got the own label record. A CD format digital download. Okay. Completion album. So we go with that. Uh, the hillbilly picking, rumbling goes so far. That was released on date November 18, 2013. A label record ABC Music, Universal Music, Australia format, CD 20, and he picked 20 on a US country. Over there, I guess. And then come a standard play. <sighs> I'm a little tired, but nevertheless, I'll never give up. In the pain, release uh, 1999, self release. From my CD, good for you. You will listen yourself. And I'm always happy when the artists choose to release their own material, their own, on their own. Because sometimes labor records are a little bit tricky for them. Because sometimes labor records like to keep more to themselves. That's why uh, I'm happy to see that. CMC Song and Story. With this day, 18 of October of 19, or 2019. Yeah. Labor Record, Lost Highway, Universal Music, former digital download streaming. Over oh, streaming on the internet, I guess. Okay, here we go with single. Let's a single with a selected opposition uh, showing the evolution album name. Okay, that drum by me, 1999, uh, album in a, in a pie, keep in the pie. 
I ate a while ago, that's why this happened to me. 46 miles from Alice. Uh, that was in 1992. He's still living. That was in uh, 1992. And the same album, Empire. Still Billy Picking Rumbling Girls. 2002. Dusty Dust Smile on Heartbreak Cure is the album name. Dusty Smile on Heartbreak Cure. Help Me, I Am Falling in 2002 and the same uh, record and the same album on me. Dusty Smile on Heartbreak Cure. The upside of being down. The upside of being down. And that was in 2004. And he picked a number 36. And the album name, Too Far Gone. We both say goodbye. Well, we both say goodbye. With Hatton John. I picked a 38. Uh, non-album single. You keep. I'm amazed at Edwin John. Uh, the do with her. Okay, let's continue here. Okay. What I did last night. Pick number 39. The album. Little Wildflowers. Lucky Girl, 2008, Little Wildflower. And I just seen the letter, 2009, again, Little Wildflower album. Can't change a thing. To 2010, the same record album, Little Wildflower. Sweet and Blue. 2010, Catherine Brett, her own record. I want you back. 2011, Catherine Brett, started doing gold. Always never enough uh, album. Trouble Man with Tim Roger, never, always never. Enough album. Uh, who cares? 2013. The Hillbilly Picking Rumbling Girl So Far album. Wish Out by Graham Roger. Fishing Catherine Bush. Thus, that it was a uh, tobacco album. And that was in 2014. 2015, Good to Bad. Good to Bad was in 2015. Uh, the time of record label, the record album, I think. Dust and Leather. Yeah. F.U. Cancer. Fishing Kidney, Kidney Chamber, Becky Hall, Lynn Bowder, uh, George Pike, West Carl, Wendy Matthews. I'm sorry, but this is a, uh, well, this name may be a uh, Australian people. So um, let me spell it for you. B O W. T E L L and Josh P Y K E W E S Cross C A R Windy Matthew. Okay, I am a country song. And that was that was uh, born in 2016. 
Um, the cold is wrong. This is a uh, 2020 vibe song. 2020, and the album is named Home Tooth. Home Tooth, okay. Okay, here now we go with music video. 2002, Hillbilly, Picking One Big Girl. 2004, Upside of Being Down. 2005, Poor Man Pie. 2006, uh, Too Far Gone. 2007, Little Wildflower. And after that, what I did last night. 2008, Lucky Girl. I am not you, Cinderella. 2009, King Chain is Thing. 2009, 2010, Sweet Emily. I want you back. 2011 video. Always never enough. 2011 video too. 2012, Saliton Road. 2012, uh, Man. 2012. 2013, who cares? Good to bad. 2013, also. 2015, bone shaker. We are waiting. We are waiting. 2015. I am a country song. 2015, also. And 2020, F A B. I T song. Okay, what up is that me? Okay. So I think uh, I done with this uh, autobiography of this uh, great country music artist, Catherine Brett. Okay. So let's read here. Her background information, and I'm done for this uh, autobiography. And the good news about this is that I have done the whole autobiography without stopping, without break, almost without break, I will see. Uh, they go for me because I, I don't like to. Yeah, do a little bit, then cut, and do the next time and cut, which is it not good. Uh, then I had to edit it, the whole thing is, and then I had to double work. So that's why I like to do it continuously, if I can, okay? Background information, first name, Kathleen Elizabeth Brett, born on December 31, 1984, age 39 years old, Newcastle, New South Wales, Australia, Guinea, country, occupation musician, instrument, vocal, rhythm, guitar, rhythm, guitar, yeah. He had in 1996 to a person, Lever Wickle. He gave me a family. <laughs> Wickle Lever, ABC, RCA, Nashville, Tennessee. Website, KatherineBrett.com. Okay? So thank you very much, Bill. Listen to this uh, podcast for this beautiful girl, this one right here, and the other one that I like it, this picture over here, a beautiful blonde girl, which is uh, I love, I don't know why, I love a blonde girl. Uh, it give me something. Uh, 
seems to be more beautiful, I guess. Okay, okay, guys. Like always, I would like to ask you to pray for yourself, to pray for your family, to pray for your neighbor, to pray for your country. There is no more war, no more pandemic, no more corruption. We need to live the peace and happiness and happiness. Like we are brothers and sisters for the universe, which we really, really are brothers and sisters for the universe. I believe that. I do. Okay, guys. God bless you, and I'll see you next time for all the podcast biography of Mr. Alice. Thank you.